guys like you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so you never miss a video while you're down there hit the thumbs up button so it really helps me out today we're going to be talking about the symptoms of borderline personality disorder also called bpd <laughs> So the first symptom of BPD is being impulsive. And what this means is that you do things on the spur of the moment. You don't think it through. You just do it. When it comes into your head, you just act on that thought. That's why a lot of people who have BPD self-harm, which we'll come back to later. The second symptom of BPD is feeling bad about yourself. Now this symptom is very common in BPD because you never feel good enough. You always feel like you're no, not gonna be enough for the people around you. You don't feel worthy of their time. You don't feel like how you feel matters. So obviously that's gonna make you feel bad. The third symptom of borderline personality disorder is controlling your emotions. Now what I mean by that is it's not easy to control your emotions with BPD. Like I said, you do things in the spirit of the moment. So your emotions are very, up and down. One minute you can feel great and then 10 minutes later you can be depressed. There's no limit with this when it comes to borderline personality disorder. Controlling your emotions is something that people with BPD struggle with. I struggle with it. Number four is self-harming. So self-harm is very common in people with BPD because it's a way of controlling how you feel in a moment. But if you self-harm you focus on self-harm. Self-harming is very common. BPD because again it's the spirit of the moment thing you act on a thought and we often think that self-harming is a way of controlling how we feel it gives us a sense of control over stuff we don't have control over number five is suicidal thoughts and attempts to take your own life now suicide attempts are very common with BPD because again you act on a spirit of the moment we don't think things for own so you act on our thoughts so if you think i could just kill myself you're gonna act on that thought which leads to multiple attempts on life it's actually one of the diagnostic criteria something that leads to people getting diagnosed is multiple suicide attempts next is feeling empty so you feel like nothing you just feel so numb you don't feel anything at all so feeling empty is something that happens quite a lot with bpd number six Number seven, sorry, is dissociation. This could be a feeling of being disconnected from your own body or being disconnected from the world around you. This is very common in BPD. And initially, this is where I thought my dissociation stemmed from. Turns out I had this depersonalization and derealization. But originally, I thought my dis dissociation was caused by my BPD. So then this is a very common thing when it comes to BPD. You feel disconnected. You, you don't associate yourself with your body. When you look in a mirror, it's not you looking back at someone else. You feel like your body is not your body. Number A is identity confusion. You might not have a sense of who you are. So this is like lack of sense itself. I'm going to do a whole video on this, but in short, you don't have a sense of self. So you feel confused about who you are, if that makes sense. You don't have a sense of self. Number nine is feeling paranoid or depressed. Paranoia, I, made, I did make a video on paranoia and BPD three years ago. It's linked to my BPD playlist, which I'll link in the description down below. It's also featured on my channel page. Paranoia and BPD go hand in hand with each other. Paranoia comes in when it comes to relationships because our relationships are very unstable, which I'm going to come on to later on, but we don't have stable relationships. You can feel paranoid that people are going to leave you and abandon you because with BPD, the fear of abandonment is very real and it's something that you struggle with. Number 10 is hearing voices or noises when you're stressed. So when you're stressed with BPD, you can hear voices and noises. When I was younger, this stand in me hearing my mum call my name, I thought I was going to be get in trouble or something. So I'd always answer be like, you called? And my mum would be like, no, I didn't. So hearing voices is a big part of BPD. And it is a symptom that I deal with. I'm medicated for it. Because it's a psychotic symptom. I take haloperidol as an antipsychotic. And it only helps with hearing voices. When you hear voices of BPD, there are medications you can take. 
it will help alleviate this. And if you are hearing voices, I'd 100% recommend speaking to a psychiatrist, if possible, because it will really help with hearing voices and other symptoms like depression. You can want antidepressants, mood stabilizers, antipsychotics. There are medications that can help with these symptoms. The last symptom of BPD is intense but unstable relationships with others. So relationships with BPD are something that we struggle with. It's a core symptom of BPD. What it means is you have very unstable relationships. When I was younger, this stemmed in the form of my romantic life. I was dating someone and I would just snap on him and it'd be very intense. I'd just go off on something and it was really unstable. We got broke up and got back together so many times because I'd just snap on him. Yes, I said to him, I'm bisexual. I'm not a lesbian. I date both. Best of both worlds. But yeah, in a relationship's really unstable and it's really hard to maintain relationships. Before I was medicated, I'd just snap on people and fall out with people for no reason. Normally because I thought they were going to leave me. It's a sense of fear of abandonment. You fear being abandoned so you just snap on people. You leave them before they can leave you. Not everyone will experience all these symptoms. These are just the most common symptoms. There are obviously more symptoms that can be BPD. I can't get into every single symptom. We'd be here until Christmas. And it's March. Hopefully you learnt something in this video. And if you did or have anything you want to say to me, leave it in the comments down below. And I will of course answer or make a video. Depending on what you comment. I don't know what you're going to comment. Hopefully something. I like reading comments. Thanks for watching this video. And if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button like I said at the start of the video. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.